What up, people? What we got here is a video about acclimating and adding new fish to an aquarium. So, you're going to need a few things before doing this. Number one, you're going to need new fish. Number two, you're going to need a net. Number three, you're going to need a jar, bucket, or something of that nature. And number four, you're going to need a cup, spoon, or anything in which you can add water to the new fish's back. So, first thing first, and what I've been doing for a couple of hours now, is I've been temperature acclimating the the fish. So, that only takes actually about 10-15 minutes, but I like to take my time when adding new fish. I feel like the slower I do it, the more, the more chance they'll be less stressed out. So, I'm in temperature acclimating this little girl for about two hours, like I said. And now it's time to actually start acclimating her to the parameters of the tick. So how you're going to do that actually is by taking a cup or a spoon or something, taking some of the tag tank water, and actually adding it to the bag. Okay. You're going to add a little bit of water to the bag every couple minutes. And this just allows the fish to get used to the parameters in the tank. Now by doing this, and the longer you do this, the, again, less stressed the fish will be. So, I'll be right back uh, after maybe an hour, two hours, and of doing this every couple minutes, every 15 minutes or so. And... Uh, show you the next step. Be right back. <laughs> Alright people, uh, it's been about uh, two hours. I watched a movie, a Christmas movie, I, actually even though it's after Christmas, and um, been adding a little bit of water every 10-15 minutes or so. And I feel like the she is pretty much acclimated to the parameters of the tank or as close as possible. So what you're going to do now is take the fish And you're going to actually pour the bag out into the net. Okay. You want to do this because you do not want to get any of the aquarium water into your actual system. Um, they may be using additives or just parameters aren't up to your standards. And you want to control everything that's in your tank. So that's the reason you're going to do that. So... After that, you're going to shake the net off, ooh, and you're going to drop that new fish into the tank. Now, I'm lucky. I have a sump, so what I'm going to do is actually let her sit in here for a few days and let her get even more adjusted to the system. Uh, this is just a benefit I have because I have that freshwater sump and I want to give her the best chance of survival as possible so I'm going to let her sit here for a few days and um, later on I'll be putting her into the display tank with all the other fish and I'll show you how I do that. Alright guys, it's been a few days and I feel like she's doing pretty good. You can see she's swimming around a little bit and such. So now it's time to actually add her into the main display tank. Now that she's actually adjusted to the parameters and everything, you can see her swimming around looking good. Uh, it's time to add her to this main main community. And how you're going to do so is you're actually going to catch her. And you're going to actually just put her into the display tank. But the big thing you want to do is make sure your lights are off. I prefer to do this at night, and the reason being is because all the fish kind of, well, they do go to sleep, and this gives her, again, a, a chance to actually establish herself and get her bearings a little bit, um, get her bearings a little bit, so... The whole point of this is just to slowly start taking steps into adding her into the main tank. 
And again, a very important thing is actually to to make sure when you put your fish into the new tank to actually make sure the lights are off so that you don't get any of all the fish coming at the new the new fish all at once. It's also better to add fish in groups. Um, that's just ideal. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it this time, but that's what that is. So, now it's time to actually catch this girl. So I'm going to do this. Get her to come out of the back. Scoop her up. You see? Now remember, you want to make sure your lights are off. So now I'm going to add the new fish into the system. And there she goes. Just hanging out, you know there's nothing to really picking on her. No one even really notices she's there. So that's it. That's how you introduce a new fish into an aquarium. Later.